in order for us to find sardine activity in the vast ocean that is hundreds of kilometers long, what we do is we put a micro light in the air. And um, I always like to use Rob Allen because Rob Allen is a man who's worked in the Sharks Board. He's, uh, um, he's worked for Natal Parks Board. He has spent many, many years on the ocean and he's developed one of the best spear guns in the world for spear fishermen. So he's a man who really knows the ocean. And this for me was always key because um, you can have a person in the in the sky and looking at, but a lot of the activity is false activity it goes for a few seconds and then it dies and then you can travel 100 kilometers to find this action and there's nothing there so it was vital to have somebody in the air who really knew what was going on Rob used to find us the action he used to watch it and he used to determine if this is a proper bait ball and you know, normally we would find the bait ball by the birds diving. And then we would go along and we would dive in on it and underneath there, sure enough, there was a bait ball going on with sharks, dolphins, birds diving, and the odd seal and stuff. So it, it, it was really crazy. When you're doing camera work underwater and filming something like a bait ball where there are so many sharks and other predators around, you know, I always thought it was good to take a backup diver down with you that had a spear gun. The spear gun wasn't loaded, but what the guy would do was just watch your back and you could concentrate on filming because I find that sharks, if you keep eye contact with them, they normally leave you alone. But as soon as you put your eye to the monitor on the camera, you, you've lost that eye contact and then sharks get a bit more curious and they come in. I'm not really worried about the copper sharks, the bronze whalers or the, or the black tips or anything like that that are feeding intently on the sardines, but what I am a little bit concerned about is the other big predator sharks that are there to feed on the seals and stuff like that. You often get great whites that will sort of follow on behind the sardine run. You also get the odd tiger shark that comes in and, and feeds on on um, sardines or that, that are falling down that have been killed by the predators and even bull sharks they have seen bull sharks in in some of these bait balls you know it's those sharks that you really need to watch out for so i always felt more comfortable having somebody watching my back while i filmed but there had been times when my backup diver had run out of air and needed to go and replenish, but the action was so good, I still had enough air, so I stayed down there alone. And I must say, you know, when the visibility is good, I think it's, it's not too much of a concern. I wouldn't stay down there alone when there's, when there's little or almost no visibility because, you know, I do feel you, you could be vulnerable to some of these um, more man-eating sharks. Now, filming a bait ball where you've got hundreds of sharks around you in good visibility is not a problem because the sharks know what their prey is, they've got so many senses, they are tuned in on the, on the bait ball and they will come whistling past you and I've never ever felt threatened or afraid under the water at all. Except one time. I got too close to the bait ball and I got enveloped in the sardines and they were so thick and they were being preyed on by so many dolphins and sharks that the sardines got pressed against my body and I could feel the vibration of them. My, my camera lens went dark and it was terrifying because I could hear the dolphins going through the, through the sardines and I could hear the sharks but I could do nothing about it and I was worried that they couldn't see me because of the density of the sardines and I knew that if a dolphin had have hit me in the chest or a shark they could have killed me because they're going with such a speed so I did realize that there is a true danger of getting swallowed in the bait ball by getting too close Let me tell you something, Will, and that one shark was coming in to, to have a go, eh? Fine. 